On May 18, several days since the beginning of Terrace's sudden collapse, Mike Novogratz finally broke his long silence about the flash crash of the network and its major tokens, Luna and UST. The billionaire investor and prominent crypto advocate and his firm Galaxy Digital were top investors in the Terra project. Novogratz even got a tattoo on his arm to show his love and support for Luna, the protocol's token, which has now crashed to fractions of a penny. The billionaire's Galaxy Digital Holdings is a financial services and investment management firm dedicated to the digital assets and blockchain ecosystem. To say that Novogratz and his firm have lost money as a result of the crypto crash would be a gross understatement. In the past month, the firm's stock has lost 49.88% of its price. Notwithstanding, Novogratz says he still firmly believes in the crypto evolution. In a recent letter to the firm's shareholders, partners, and the entire crypto community, the billionaire investor discusses the Terra crash and the way forward for the community. Please watch the video to the end and hit the like button as we bring you the details of Mike Novogratz's letter. You can also drop your comments and observations in the comment section below. Enjoy the video. On Wednesday, May 18, after a 10-day hiatus from Twitter, Novogratz tweeted about Terra's collapse for the first time. After much thought, it is time to talk about last week and more importantly, the weeks ahead. The CEO told his 462,000 Twitter followers, in his tweet, Novogratz left a link to a blog post that extensively discusses the blockchain protocol's collapse and how it affects Novogratz and Galaxy Digital. There is no good news in what happened in markets or to the Terra ecosystem, Novogratz began in his letter. In Luna and UST alone, $40 billion of market value was destroyed in a very short amount of time. Both large and small investors saw profits and wealth vanish. The collapse dented confidence in crypto and decentralized finance. Whenever money is lost in such an abrupt fashion, people want answers. I am going to try to add some insights to the ongoing discussion. Novogratz then discussed Galaxy's principal investments in Luna starting from 2020 and why the team thought it was a great project to invest in. Our principal investments team invested in Luna in quarter 4 of 2020 using balance sheet capital, the billionaire stated in his letter. Our team's initial thesis for investing in Luna was centered around the expansion of blockchain native payment systems. At the time, we understood that the Chai app, which was built on Terra, had more than 1.8 million users and was a top five finance app in South Korea that we considered had significant growth potential. We were intrigued by this project as an example of crypto finding a real world use case. Since we made that initial investment in 2020, the ecosystem evolved significantly. When we make investments in ecosystems, we look for a driven founding team with a unique idea and follow the usage of that project. Among other things, we analyze developer engagement, investor support, and network activity. Terra, the underlying blockchain, had hundreds of projects being built on it and a world-class list of investors. The initial idea was gaining serious traction. He went further to discuss the general global economic downturn and how it contributed to Terra's collapse. To start, the global macro backdrop has been brutal for all risk assets this year. Growth stocks with negative cash flow are down as much as 50-70% to 70 this year. Crypto has been under pressure, with core assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum down about 58% each from their all-time highs and all coins are down an average of 80% from all-time highs. Central bankers are in the early stages of unwinding a massive liquidity bubble that had propped up all risk assets, including crypto. The free money forever ethos of the last decade has left us staring in the face of the biggest bout of inflation since the 70s. Many assets that had meteoric rises in the period since the pandemic have suffered meaningful and correlated corrections. This macro backdrop put pressure on Luna, and the reserves held to back UST. UST's growth had exploded from the 18% yield offered in the Anchor Protocol, which eventually overwhelmed other uses of the Terra blockchain. The downward pressure on reserve assets coupled with UST withdrawals triggered a stress scenario akin to a run on the bank. The reserves weren't enough to prevent UST's collapse. With hindsight, things always look clearer. My tattoo will be a constant reminder that venture investing requires humility. Novogratz also highlighted some core tenets of investing and stated that investors should only allocate 1-5% to of the assets to the space. The flash crash of Luna and UST also reinforces a few core tenets of investing, especially crypto investing. Novogratz stated, 1. Keep a diversified portfolio. 2. Take profits along the way. 3. Have a risk management framework. And 4. Understand that all investments happen in a macro framework. Galaxy did all of these with regards to our investment in Luna, Novogratz added, Reading the stories of retail investors who lost their savings in one investment is heart-trenching. A core tenet in the crypto belief system is equal access to markets, but it's important that less experienced market participants only risk what they are comfortable losing. I've often said people should allocate 1-5% to of their assets to the space. 
The CEO, however, noted that the past week's event does not signify the end of the crypto space, while also noting that recovery might take a while. Crypto is not going away, he wrote. The amount of human capital moving into the space isn't slowing down. Our community is resilient as a shared belief in a new way of doing things and the assurance that this is the very early innings. This does not mean the crypto market will bottom and head straight back up. It will take restructuring, a redemption cycle, consolidation, and renewed confidence in crypto. Crypto moves in cycles and we JUST witnessed a big one. Novigrads also assured Galaxy shareholders that the firm remains strong in capital and liquidity position and is well positioned for long-term growth. The crypto community and Galaxy's mission isn't changing. I firmly believe now more than ever that the crypto revolution is here to stay. Together, We'll weather this storm and come out stronger on the other side, Novigrads declared at the end of his letter. What are your thoughts about the billionaire's letter and how his Terra's collapse affected your confidence in the crypto space? Please share your thoughts and observations in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching.